Uh, next, we'll talk about the uh, South Point, the uh, Red Raiders from uh, Belmont and uh, Barry. And uh, quite honestly, I don't think this will be a ball game. Uh, it is a Charlotte area you know, game, so we haven't mentioned it, but uh, Barry's just really, this is not their year. They don't have near the um, uh, talent they had last year. They've got a lot of young talent, I will say that. It looks like there's some freshmen and sophomores on that team. It might be something a few years from now, but uh, I don't think they've got the physical. Uh, they, this game is going to be too physical for them. Uh, they, they will not be able to hang, and this will not be a game at any point in the game, do I think. Yeah, South Point uh, got upset in the first round last year by Weddington, so you know that's in the back of your minds. And um, they're gonna, I think they're really going to try to come out and prove a point this week. Uh, Barry, like you said, young talent. Um, the good thing for Barry is they're ahead of the game now than they were a couple years ago when uh, Jerome Hopper and his guys were young. So they, they're a little ahead of the game there. This will be a nice experience for them to get a little taste of what the playoffs is like and go play at South Point. But uh, I, I'm scared. This this might really get out of hand if you're a Barry fan. I think South Point by, by at least five touchdowns. Well, South Point's a tough place to play. I haven't been over there before with a similar team to what Coach Howard has. Uh, it, it's going to be tough on them. I give Coach Howard a, a lot of credit for staying over there, and I think he's really in the process of building that program. And that's that's what you got to have, especially over there, is, is, is keep somebody there for a long period of time, develop that consistency, and give those players an opportunity to grow. So. Don't see them be a successful Friday, but uh, I do think he's got that, that program 